Eh, me gustaría pelear contra Shakur Stevenson. What did he say? Oh. I'd like Shakur. Uh, you know, he our styles mesh. Bullshit! 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 From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Right here, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So, look, man, we, uh, <laughs> we got this again, man. We got William Cepeda going against Giovanni Cabrera, man. Giovanni Cabrera, for those of you unfamiliar with Giovanni Cabrera, man, he's a very good fighter. I believe he fights out of Chicago now, and he, um, don't, don't. Don't quote me on that location, but I believe he fights out of Chicago. And um, he's most famous for uh, his most notable fight was um, his split decision loss to Isak Pipo Cruz. You know, and that was a good fight, man. A lot of people had Giovanni Cabrera winning. winning. I'm not going to lie, in, in the immediate, in real time, my immediate reaction to that fight was that, man, it was a close fight, could have went either way. Yeah. Um, but then I went back and watched it, and I thought it could still go either way. Ah! Got him! So, so I'm not too upset about the about the victory for Isak Pipo Cruz, and I'm not gonna lie, I like Isak Pipo Cruz. He's a he's a very entertaining fighter, um, very entertaining fighter. But Giovanni Cabrera, Cabrera is a very capable fighter, very slick fighter, and uh, uh, he's a nice counter puncher, and you know. He's pretty swift, man, and so um, you know when, when I went back and watched it though, I do I do remember that he had a, um, if I'm not mistaken, he had a headbutt point deduction. He saw people cruise just because he was getting so frustrated by Giovanni Cabrera, you know. And then when you when you when you factor that in, you're like dang, split decision loss and and a point deduction, uh, man, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of tough one. So that that one could have went either way, but he's a very capable opponent, is what I'm getting to. And Williams and Page is going to fight him, and he's no easy he's no easy task, man. But what I thought was very interesting and very funny, man. Ahead of Williams Zapata's July 6th class with Giovanni Cabrera, guess what? Guess what? Williams Zapata did again. He called out Shakur. Check it out. You could pick one of them to fight next. Who would you pick? Eh, me gustaría pelear contra Shakur Stevenson. What did he say? Oh. I'd like Shakur. Um, you know, he our styles mesh. Stop it. Get some help. So it's like we heard this. We heard the story before, right? <laughs> We've seen this story before. We see. We read this story before. We've seen this movie before. This man calling out Shakur Stevenson again for what? Just not to fight him? It's crazy because he called out. He called out Shakur Stevenson going into the Maxi Hughes and after the Maxi Hughes fight. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Yes, I, I want the big names in boxing. We have to recognize that Shakur is one of those big names. I want to show what I'm about. And, and then when Shakur Stevenson responds, him and his coach Panda come out and say, oh no, we, we don't really want Shakur next, man. If you ask me, Mills, if I want the fight right now, I don't want the fight right now. And it's not being afraid. It's, it's using a business move. Essentially, this business move means that they called Shakur out for clout. That's what y'all love to say other fighters do, right? Cloud Chase, Zepeda the Cloud Chaser. Huh? His coach Panda come out and say, oh no, we, we don't really want Shakur next, man. We were just saying for the future, for the future. So is this one going to be for the future future or for the imminent future? So with all that being said, I think Williams and Payton and Shakur Stevenson is a great fight. Um, I think stylistically it's a great fight. Um, I would lean towards uh, Shakur Stevenson, you know. Uh, I think that, I only think that Tank could be him. But Williams and Payton is a very capable fighter, man. I'll tell you this, he can't, Shakur Stevenson will have to fight if, if him and Vince Zepeda get into it because Williams and Payton is not going to take no time off like Edwin De Los Santos. He's not going to give him no breaks. He's going to be right in his chest. And um, yeah, yeah, Shakur is going to really have to show his, his, his gusto with some nuts in that fight because he won't be able to just back off and keep Zepeda away. Zepeda's going to come forward with, with with relentless aggression, relentless pressure, and it's going to be very interesting, man. Like I said, I will lean towards Shakur, um, but man, Zepeda, I think stylistically, I do agree with him. I think stylistically that they complement each other, but I don't know if he'll be able to overcome Shakur, but first off, he has to overcome a very capable, a very sound, a strong contender in Giovanni Cabrera, man. And um, I will, I'm interested in this fight, man. I think this fight's going to be a great fight. I think it's very underrated because a lot of people don't know Giovanni Cabrera, but this is going to be a great fight. So if he can get past Cabrera, which is no easy task, and it's definitely not surefire, um, it's nothing concrete. But I, I fully expect Zapata to win. But if he can get past him, man, I would love to see Shakur and Zapata in the future if, if, if 
also Shakur could get past Artem Honey Union, which I which I fully expect him to because Artem Honey Union only has one loss, but that one loss came to Frank Martin. And uh, Frank Martin's a great fighter, but we saw what happened to him uh, against Tank. You know, by the eighth round, he was out of there. So, you know, I think that Artem Honey Union is, is a good fighter, but I think Shakur is definitely has <laughs> i'm not gonna say no chance i'm not gonna disrespect anybody but Shakur definitely is the heavy favorite in that fight we fully expect him to win and then williams and Peter, i think he's a i would say he's a favorite as well against cabrera but i would say more like i say cabrera has about a 30 percent chance to beat him if i could put a number on it like 70 30 or 65 or or, or, or um yeah i'll say yeah I'll say, I'll, say, I'll say 65 35 uh 35 being chance of um cabrera and 65 being for williams of Peta, man y'all let me know what y'all think about that man are you tired of uh williams of Peta seemingly calling out Shakur for clout do you think that we need to hold him accountable as, as to fight him like everybody else or are you just cool with this this, this banter man i think that williams of Peta needs to needs to really f go for Shakur and that's because Shakur said he's down to fight him so you know Shakur in his defense I know a lot of people get tired of him tweeting all the time but in his defense he he pretty much fights everybody um and, and he pretty much responds or or at least he puts on like he's willing to fight everybody you know so he don't really fight too many people <laughs> unfortunately you know for us but you know he definitely uh acts like he wants to fight everybody so I got to give him that benefit of the doubt man I think Shakur and paid if they ever fight I will lean towards Shakur let me know what you think about that in the comments man do you want to see that fight or do you do you want to see other people of course we want to see Tank and Shakur but in the interim you know with tank supposedly fighting loma yeah i think i think zapeda and shakur would be a great fight you know what i'm saying until the eventual take of shakur assuming that tank beats loma and and uh, shakur will beat zapeda if it happens man y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments i appreciate y'all rocking me as always man remember with god we could do anything without god we're nothing y'all be easy man the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.